Hello everyone and welcome back to the Into the Stars. I'm doing another video because they updated it, so let's take a look at the update because it was quite big. It added a thing that was kind of necessary, I think, to get the good feeling of the game, which is animations. I know it might sound kind of strange because there are other features that might be useful in this game, but I think animations will give the game the feeling that it needed in combat to be more fluid. <coughs> they also revamped the combat altogether, they made it more fair, so to say, we'll see how that pans out. And in general they changed quite a bit, so I will post the link to the patch notes in the description of this video, so if you want to take a look at it, well, feel free to do so. For now, let us go first stop this little planet over here which I always stop at and we'll test actually a new, ci uh, not civilian but landing missions which should be interesting as I said before they lacked a bit of depth there wasn't too much to it it was just a means to get some cool stuff to help you survive but this time around it might be more impactful so we'll see how it goes but first we have to get there, and as usual I took the weakest engine, with, which might not be the greatest of ideas, but I feel like in the long run it's good. Alright. Oh, they added a little icons here, which I don't think were here before, so alright, let's deploy the shuttle, shuttle team. team okay, the pilot, I, this is a new crew so I'm not quite used to who they are, alright this guy now we need a commander, which this guy seems like a good choice and we need a medic, uh, this guy alright, good conditions, nice, this will level up my pilot most likely let us go I will mostly go through the new features, I will try at least I'm, our creature item module let's go for module captain there are some ancient ruins here that was over over the shuttle the pilot nearly crashed into them on landing we can we search the interior for valuables okay that's interesting that wasn't here before obviously so scan the building but don't leave the shuttle search the perimeter but avoid the building there as they could be unstable search every inch of the ruins let's search it Success. Whoever beat destruction departed long ago, but they left more of a feat of engineering. Look what, look what we discovered. Oh shit, that's actually a clear upgrade, which is amazing. And now you can actually do it up to three times. So I feel like this is great because before you really didn't have much choice in terms of what was going on, now you can actually do it multiple times, which is great, I think. It obviously takes a lot of resources to launch it, but I feel like it's very worth it. Item, item module. I think we can go for item now. Corncom's tower seems interesting. As corn transmitter has been tracking us since we left the ARC-13. A group of them surrounded us on landing and there is no way to take off. What do we do, Captain? Leave the commander behind to create a distraction so you can get out of here. There. No. You'll have to try, push the engines to fall and get back to Arc 13, disembark and take up positions but leave the ship running. It could fool them. This seems like a good idea. Fail. Not a terrible ta plan, Captain, but the Scorn quickly figured out what we were up to and charged our position. We took them down with our laser but not before the pilot was hurt. Okay, so let's do it one more time just to get the feeling of it. Pilot, where is the commander? Here. No, that's a medic. Here is our commander. Let's go. I think this immediately presents much more death and is much more impactful. Mining operation seems nice. The Menket are using another race as forced labor to mine resources. Dozens of alien slaves toil away with crude tools but are lightly guarded. Orders, Captain. Are not our concerns if they are willing to try some supplies? Nice. Ambush the Menket guards? No. Monitor the slaves and follow any of the moving resources. Steal anything of value. Let's try and 
trade. I wonder if this will be trading. Nope. The operation supervisor was startled by our presence. My man is a little rushy, but he seemed to call us intruders and ordered an immediate return to the shuttle. Okay. Let's try the resource probe. And let's see what we will get. Launch. Actually, there is a scorn, which I think is good, so we will stick around here to see it. Okay, taking everything? Sure, I can take everything. There is really no reason to deploy the mining rig, I think. So let us go. Oh, I was meant to stay here for the scorn, but it's okay. The further we get, the more chance we will find those, so... I don't think there is much reason to oh, to delay this. Let's see. This game looks quite beautiful. This this is like what really surprised me at the beginning and it still surprises me. Half. Uh, I mean no, this guy. Nickel or whatever it is. I think that's the best because I'm not using it that much. Oh, I'm not at full speed. Engines at maximum power. Now we are. Around these parts, there should be much more scorn around there. So I think I will fast forward this, there is no reason for you to watch me flying around this because it's not quite as interesting to watch, so... Oh, interesting. So I guess this radiates us, but what can I do? I have to get through this. So you have to survive this. Actually, isn't this pla planet a little bit too close? Alright, we are at another planet, so let's try the shuttle team. Yeah, the guy is in sick bay, and that's actually bad. Uh, never mind, we can do one mission with this guy. Hopefully. And medic. 72%? Oh, that's not very well, but... Okay. And we did it, nice. Module or module? Petrified Colossus. This is interesting. Captain, there is an ancient organic form here that appears to be petrified. It's massive and emitting large amounts of methane. Permission to investigate further. Use lasers to cut off sample and examine it. Leave it be and search your surroundings for anything we can use. Use our hand tools to break off a sample. I mean lasers. And a success. Returning to ship. Alien shuttle by the our own nitrogen. Actually, that's useful because I, I, I found it that I can usually find a lot of it and yeah. Let's do the resource probe. I actually wonder why this guy is not back from the med bay yet. He should be. Take everything. Ah, uh, that's not very. Useful, but still. Your orders, Let's go with the mining. Oh, actually, I need my guy out of the med bay because otherwise this will be pointless. He's like so close to. That's okay. And he's fully healed. Maybe I have to take him off manually now. Seems stupid though, but all right. Let's try the mining rig to see if anything happened there. I'm not sure if they changed it in any way, I didn't see anything about it in the in the patch notes, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, no, it seems the same. Okay. There is a lot of resources here, holy crap! 
Unless they change the values, this is a mother load. Yeah, no. Holy crap, that's a lot of resources. Nice. I'm still going? 10 seconds. Okay, I think the values changed here. I don't remember that having so many of those, but... That's okay, I'm fine with this. Take this and take that. Is that okay? Yeah, it should be. Captain, what are your orders? And one more shuttle team. Shuttle team Yellow alert. Yellow alert. Alright, that's fine. Oh, medic, medic, medic. Here. Fair conditions. What this time? Orders, Hidden cave, giant talking plant. I mean, we were with giants, so let's go. Captain, we've come across a native plant that is beckoning us to come closer. It has a beautiful voice and speaks of language, our language perfectly. Oh my god. Sounds like a trap. Yup. Fascinating. See what it has to say, but keep your distance. Who doesn't like to be beckoned? Approach and introduce yourselves. I mean, fascinating. And a success. Ah, uh, that's worse. No. Awaiting deployment. I don't want to get my oxygen production mixed up with my food production because I know it won't end well. Pilot training. Yes, please. Actually, now I realize that I got moved because I landed at the top of the planet and now I'm suddenly here. I know, I'm not sure what I think about this because I deliberately placed myself there, but I guess this is like orbiting and stuff. I wonder if we can intercept this Scorn Patrol. Detected. 53 seconds. I'm not sure if we will be able to catch him. But if we will, let's see the combat. Orange alert. Scorn force inbound. If we don't making the scorn forces will get to us at this point, but we'll see. It will either be orange or red if this guy if this guy manages to warp away. Twenty seconds, we are slowly approaching him. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Oh my god, we are so close. But at the same time so far, I don't think we will be able to catch him. And Red Patrol, yeah, this will be interesting fight. Yeah, I'm not catching up to him. I'm too slow. Nice. Leave this sector immediately. Yeah, I know, I know. There will be fight. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to leave this sector. I even don't want to. I want to see this fight, so... Come on now. Any day. Actually, I need to go to this planet, so... Because I'm running out of food slowly. Why are they not attacking yet? Engineering... What are our food supplies running on? Oh, there we go. We can see some sweet animations here. Fight. Okay, how did it work? Commander first. Where is our commander? Here. Two engineering and one med. Engineer. Oh. Actually, oh, yes, this is right. And medic. Okay. So, evade, actually. Interesting. Oh, I'm not sure what I want to be doing. I cannot change my time. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what they changed is they added the evade, obviously. They made it so that if you attack Scorn, they will change frequencies more often. And also, it will be the enemies made me seal. And all that jazz. I actually have to focus here because, yeah, great. Great, great, great. 
I'm not sure how the evade works, to be honest. Okay, we've got the shot off. Oh. Okay, everything is okay. Nice, two shots deflected. I'm not sure how the evade works. Oh, sweet! Okay, that was ultimately pointless, but... I think that was the ultimate, which they also added. Oh my god, the combat is actually a little bit more confusing now, with all the options. Nope. They certainly give you a, many more options now, but... Ouch. Oh, they missed. And but we also missed. I'm not sure if this evasion works. I think we evaded there, but I'm not sure. Why are we not... Oh my... I didn't realize I was shooting at the wrong frequency. I wonder how many shots I wasted there. And why is this guy not shooting? Is the HP bar of the weapons bugged? It seems so. All the HP bugs bars seem bugged. What a carrot? Yeah, I think it bugged out because the HP is not falling down Enemy even though impact. I'm clearly shooting at them. That's less than ideal. Okay, but he's dead now. Okay, good, good, good. I'm not sure about this evade. I cannot really utilize it, maybe that's the problem. Yeah, see, he, he, he hit me there, so I have no idea how to use it. Maybe it's just the wrong attack to be dodging. See, I got damaged again. Unless it's working in a different way. Oh my god. It changed the frequency. This is basically over, but Bad shot. what can you do? Just in case, because... Okay. Nailed it! Almost. Take everything. And let's go! Okay, guys, I think that's it about the features. It changes the game quite a bit, so... Don't the, underestimate this. As you could have seen, I I got pretty wrecked there, even though I I could defeat much stronger enemies before. So it will be much more complicated with, with the ultimate attacks and evading and well, the stuff changed. So I would recommend to take a look at it again if you have the game bought. If you haven't bought the game, I'm not sure still, to be honest. I feel like quite a bit can be made with this game to make it a little bit more interesting. I think something to take away the monotony of flying from planet to planet, from event to event is very important because so far there isn't much happening and I'm sitting there watching the screen. Even though the views are very nice, it takes quite a bit of time to fly and it's not 
that interesting so I feel like if they can solve it in some way this will be a great game and until then you have to give it a little bit more time I would say but if you have bought it already yeah take a look at it again I think it's much better now so I will play this through and for now guys thank you a lot for watching and I will see you in the next episode bye bye